All right, this is a gentle cool down that you can do after your workout or after sports. Starting out, we're just going to be standing with tight core, feet at hip width apart, and our arms up at 90 degrees. So the upper arm is parallel to the floor and the lower arm is perpendicular. Nice 90 degree elbow bend and really reach back, stretch out the shoulders and chest. And we're holding each of those for about 20 seconds. Next is a hamstring stretch. So we're just putting the left leg out in front here and gently hinging at the waist to create a stretch in the hamstring. As you do these stretches, think about nice deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. And we're doing the same thing on the right leg here. Hinging at the waist, out onto our heel with a nice straight leg and creating that stretch into the hamstring. And let's keep those deep breaths going in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now I'll just show you a little modification here. If you need to, for balance, you can use the chair here. Same thing, we're still hinging out our waist. We're still creating that stretch across the hamstring. We're just using the chair here for some extra stability. All right, next we're going to stretch out our triceps and shoulders. Starting out with the right hand here, we're just putting it in the upper back, as you can see there. Trying to reach back, touch the upper back. Opposite arm, left arm is going to go over the top of the head and gently pull back on that elbow to create a little bit more stretch in the triceps. And as we did with our hamstrings and with our chest, we're going to hold these stretches for about 20 seconds. So same thing here on the left side, putting that left hand into the upper middle back, gently pulling back on that left elbow with the right hand and holding. All right, moving into a calf stretch here. We're going to use our chair for leverage. You could also use a wall, anything you could push against that has some stability. And just going to drive that left heel down into the ground first here. So the right foot is up in front for counterbalance, and we're driving that left heel down into the ground. And you just step back enough so that you feel a nice light stretch. Switching to the right foot here, pushing that right heel down into the ground, creating a nice stretch across the gastroc muscle, which is in the upper part of the lower leg in the calf area, and then the soleus muscle down in the lower part of the lower leg. Next, we're going to move into a awesome stretch for our hips called the figure four stretch. We're going to do it seated in the chair. And so for this, you're just going to cross your right leg over your left leg and gently push down on the right knee. You'll feel that stretch in your right glute there. And as always with these static stretches, maintain your breath, nice deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. And we'll of course do the same on the other side. So the left leg is crossing over the top of the right leg and creating a stretch across your left glute. And you give yourself a little bit more if you need or want, you can gently push downward on that left knee. Then we're going to use our chair for our last stretch here just to reach above our head. One of my favorite stretches actually for the upper back and spine. Just reach above the head, grab onto the top of that chair, let your body hinge at the waist and sort of hold your upper body up with your hands. Feel that nice elongating stretch across your back.